Hey everybody, Shifty X here uh, with another video. We're doing another looting video. Uh, same video, or same game as the last one. It has been a few days since you last seen me. I've been just basically, you know, roaming around my area. But uh, right here was a diner. Uh, I was hungry. I just went ahead and looted it before I did a videotape on it. Good news is there's another diner we could do one. Here's the strip club. I have not looted it, mainly because I know there are landmines in there, and I don't have the right equipment to find the landmines. But I'm currently at the trader, right? And in a lot of my videos, I talk about where you can find certain things to make items, right? One of the things I wanted to talk about was in one of my videos, it said, hey, there's a... There is a, look at that. That is a CMAT mixer. I am at the trader in the Pine Forest. So if you don't know where to find a CMAT mixer, you come to the Pine Forest. Now, unlike other places where you can use the wrench, like on the bench right here and on the CMAT mixer, break it down and take it home, you can't do that at the trader, but you can still use it and it will still hold your items as long as you don't leave the game from what I've been told. Now, I've never actually put anything in here and then left the game. Usually I put it in here and then I come back and get it then I leave the game. Maybe something we could try later in another video. But there's also a workbench here so if you come to the forest or the pine forest and find the trader you can use the cement mixer and the workbench to make things. As well as each trader also has uh, these right here are uh, where you could trade from player to player but usually we don't have a lot of players but every trader if you're ever hungry Every trader has one of these guys right here, you know, Coke machine, and inside each Coke machine will have food, drinks, stuff like that. Um, you notice I have a lot of money right here. Uh, I used one of the uh, one of the treasure maps to get find the thing. We got a bunch of ammo and some money. I ended up selling it all because I don't have anything. But we could buy some food, right? I'm not currently low on food, but. We'll just buy some food, and we'll buy one piece. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and eat all that and drink all that, because we are going to go to the tool place, which is going to be roughly right around here. Uh, it is 3 o'clock on day 7. We can do this. I'm going to drink my beer, and we'll head on over there, so I'll see you when I get there. Alright, everybody, I'm back. Uh, so we're about to hit the um, tool store right there. Usually there's a bunch of zombies. Uh, it is currently 4 o'clock on day 7. So I am, am going to leave the block durability down low just so I can quickly search this place. We'll end up probably coming back. What I'll probably do is just search just what we can see what we can find on the boxes. I know there is a uh, a uh, wall chest, and depending on how long it takes me to get through it, depends whether or not if I'm going to do it. But, you know, Horde Knight's coming up. I want to survive the Horde Knight. So we'll see if we can kill these guys real quick. Headshots are the best. Always harder to get, though. Ooh, I missed. Got you that time. Got you. Those guys with the fucking bobbing heads are always the hardest to hit. Oh, look at that shotgun schematic. Well, we'll just go ahead and read that now. We'll break that down. And some water. Any more zombies? Let's take a look. I don't hear any. So, let's go ahead and start looting. Oh god, great, a beer to get myself back home. I love it. Because uh, it was a long run. I basically wasted that whole beer getting here. I don't hear any zombies inside, so what we'll do is we'll break down the windows. And we'll go in and see what we can find. Ah, thought I broke this. There we go. 
So we're in. Usually when you find boxes like this, you have to break them down. Good thing doesn't really take much, even at full percent. Let's see. You know what's funny? Every time I come in this place, I always break the window that's next to that thing. What is... Don't ever break anything down where you get loot out of. Just a little FYI. Because even if uh, you don't find yourself coming back for a while, eventually loot will respawn in. And, uh, yeah. So, just, if you can loot it, try not to break it down. You know, just a little FYI. But, the tool place does have some spots to buy some food. We'll buy that at the end. Uh, since I do have some extra cash, got some money right there. We hit the family cabin. There's a few more spots in here. We can see. Look at that tool spot, and we got a hammer. Normally, at the tool place, you'll find obviously tools, hammers, uh, sledgehammers, pickaxes, but you also find a bunch of other stuff too. Look at that. We got an auger. We got a wrench. Sledgehammer. We'll take that. Keep that. Um, sledgehammer is more powerful, obviously, than the uh, than the axe. So maybe I'll use that sledgehammer on that door, just because it's a metal door. I mean, I do have it on durability. Uh, the block durability is down to 25%. Uh, so I mean, it won't take long to break through these doors. Um, Let's just loot away and see what we get here. Um, I like looting this tool place. I try to stay away from it just because you get a lot of good tools. You also get a lot of good other stuff. Like, I always tend to find a lot of water bottles in here. Uh, I also have found, like, grills for um, the fire pits. And you need the grill to make, like, grilled meat, uh, other things like that. And grilled meat, you know, gives you a lot of uh, wellness back, which is pretty surprisingly. Because the other one, there's, like, a baked meat or whatever it is. It actually hurts your hydration and does not give you any uh, bonus in wellness. It's just the grilled meat. So you definitely want the, uh, you definitely want the, uh, the, the grill, uh, yeah, the grill. So again, we found another basket. If I pick this up, I could use this for a second bike. I did find the mini bike for dummies in my search for food and water in my little area. I actually found it on a zombie. Unfortunately, it didn't show up, but I'm pretty sure I'll find another one in another bookstore. But what do we got? Five o'clock. I gotta get going here in a minute, but we still got we still got some boxes here to break down. So let's just go ahead and break these down and see what we get. Nails. I'm so glad we found nails because nails are used to make um, the other boxes. So you can make a... Uh, ooh, those are nice. We can use that for later. Uh, you can make like a secure chest. So like if I go to my inventory, where I can build this secure storage chest. Now don't get me wrong. It's great. It holds just the same amount as the other boxes, but... It can be a little confusing later down the line, unless you like got a memory like a elephant, which I know I don't. Um, it can be a little confusing to what is in what chest, right? So if you go to the house, right, and you go all the way to the right. Well, since I have nails and wood, it's not at the end. But if you don't have nails, it's going to be at the end. These storage boxes, you got storage ammo, storage buildings, storage explosion, food, health, weapons. I use those to help me uh, navigate my uh, storage. How long? Let's see. Will this take too long? Mm. No. So I'm going to skip this, but I'm going to break through this. All right, we broke through. Yeah, not much in there, but I don't understand. I use the storage boxes to... Uh, you know, I you know put the food items in the food, put the uh, um, I like all my stuff I use for crafting in the in one of the other boxes. I organize it so at least when I you know start putting a bunch of stuff in and I add my friends in and everything else, er, uh, everything else like that, we can organize and we'll be good to go. So that was the tool store. Uh, 
what I would do on a normal day is I'd also come through and break down all these shelving. You get a lot of iron. All right, we can do a quick demonstration right now. Just. Boom. So as you can see, I mean, I didn't break a lot of, and I got a lot of iron. So you get iron out of those shelving units. You don't need to worry about the shelving units. Um, uh, be, uh, you can break down the shelving units because there's never going to be any loot on there for you to, to come take out of there. So it doesn't hurt for you to break them down. They don't ever come back. So, you know, that's the only downside is they don't come back. But they give you a lot of iron. Um, right, I got some, I got a beer I can get myself back. So, that was the tool store. Uh, if you wait five days, if you have it set for five days, whatever your loot respawn is, you can come back. But we got, you know, a sledgehammer. We got a couple wrenches. We got a hammer. We found some repair kits, which are nice for doing things. We got a backhoe, a guard hoe. Uh, we got 60 two nails which is more than enough nails that I need to make the rest of my boxes because it's ten nails and one wood to make a box right and in my house I have a bunch of boxes already or I got one box made and I have a few secure uh, storage chests well I like to get rid of the secure storage chests just because it's organizer wise maybe in my next video I'll show it um, we found another basket for another bike we got some electrical parts Shotgun, sh I'm going to keep this shotgun stock so I can make the shotgun stock. Um, but overall, we did pretty good. We got some beer, there's some food in there I could probably go back in there and buy, which I probably will do just because for simplicity, I'm going to buy it before we leave. But, um, for this looting video, I mean, we came out pretty good, right? So, uh, thanks for watching, please subscribe, please leave a like. Uh, next video, we're probably going to get a hit of popping pills. So, you know, let's go get some drugs. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Later.